YouTubers, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate your support. Welcome again. Today we are talking almonds. That's right, we are talking about almonds. I'll give you a few almond facts as well as whether you're lactose intolerant and you can't have milk or whether you like it in smoothies like I do. We are going to make two recipes in the kitchen today. Quick ones. And they gotta be easy, cause you know I like quick and easy. I don't like to hang out in the kitchen for too long. You know what I'm saying? So let's go next! Today we are talking all health today. And uh, today's shout out actually goes to my husband. My husband decided that he wanted to buy some almonds from Costco, which he did. He bought a big bag of almonds and another big bag, two big bag of almonds. So I put some in the fridge, I put some in the freezer. We keep using it wherever we can, keep up the nuts, you know, change it up a bit. I still had so many. So I decided, hmm, what can I do with those almonds? So I figured it out. We're gonna make two recipes today. Two recipes, we are gonna make almond milk and we are gonna be making almond butter. <laughs> Me, a nutty professor? I don't think so. Do I look like a crazy professor? Don't say anything. Ha! But we are talking all almonds today. Let's do it. Some almond facts, if you didn't already know. Uh, almonds are very good in healthy fats, very high in fiber, high in protein, high in magnesium, high in antioxidants. Oh, wow, look at that. And it can also reduce your blood sugar level, reduce blood pressure, and... Um, and reduce cholesterol as well. Wow, so, so good for you. So many benefits of eating almonds, as well as it can reduce your hunger. So it helps with promoting weight loss as well. So, so much good for you in almonds. Keep eating them. Almond milk comes in a variety of flavors, unsweetened, sweetened. It's also combined with coconut usually in the store, uh, as well as there's cashew milk and oat milk. So, so many varieties. So I believe you can incorporate this recipe into different things. But today we are making unsweetened almond milk at home. And I got to tell you, it's super, super easy. I tried it last week. And oh my God, I was so surprised. I've already finished it. So I'm gonna make another batch for myself. Um, the hardest part, the hardest part, oh, sorry, I'm just having my smoothie here. Um, the hardest part of making almond milk, believe it or not, is straining it. That's it. And I even bought a little product to help strain my almond milk, which I'll show you in a second, which will open and uh, give it a shot. So let's get started. So I started with one cup of almonds. And last night before I went to bed, I soaked them in water. And uh, you do not want to cover them uh, because you don't want bacteria growing in that water because it'll go into your almonds. So you want to make sure that you uh, drain these guys a few times so that you're starting with fresh almonds. So let me do that and I'll meet you back. So what I had uh, last night was one cup of almonds that had soaked there. So basically you want to take one cup of almonds to a ratio of four cups of water. So that's going to be a ratio. So here's my blender. I'm using a ninja, uh, ninja, and then I just use this attachment here because it's kind of bigger and um, I'm just going to blend it here. So I will show you, uh, you're going to put your almonds not a cooking show expert. I'm not even a show cooking expert. <laughs> anyway, you put the one cup of almonds there, and then you're going to take four cups of water and add it in. So I just used uh, regular water, but uh, you should use filtered water if you can. That's just my bad. I'm sorry about that. But And you will see how thick and smooth it gets. So that's it. And then you just put it on your blender. I'm not gonna, I'll do it off camera here. 
So that's it. And you're just going to blend it. So I'm going to blend it and come back and I'll show you how long I blended it for. Now it says to blend for about two minutes or so, uh, but it depends on your blender, right? So now I can see all the almonds have been uh, starting to uh, get cut in little pieces and I can see the skin peeling off right now. Um, you can take the skin off, but because we're going to uh, strain the almonds out of there, you don't need to worry about that. Remember, easy peasy. <laughs> So if you, you can't really see here, but maybe I'll do a close up here. It looks like really thick milk right now. Really thick milk. I can see all the almonds at the bottom. I don't know if you can see with all the peels and everything. So I'm gonna blend it for a little bit more. I just find it's still a little bit too thick. It's been only been about a minute. So I'm gonna do it again. Okay, maybe for another minute or so. all together so I'm gonna take a peek here uh, okay so it looks much more thicker so it's been about three minutes and I'm just gonna to go to the bottom and see yeah it, everything is pretty well fine it's very good okay so I'm just gonna pour it in a glass for you just to kind of show you the oh, consistency <laughs> i told you i'm not a cook see and it's nice and thick so now what we're going to do is strain the almonds from there okay so it's time to strain it now and last week when i tried to make it i used a cheesecloth it was okay but it was a little bit messy so this is what was uh called for actually it's called a unbleached reusable nut milk bag I don't even know there was a thing. So it was $3.79 at Bed Bath & Beyond with 20% off coupon. So it's super, super tiny. And uh, it's like a cheesecloth. To me, it reminds me of like a little gift bag. It's really, really tiny holes in there. And um, I know some of them have drawstrings, which would have been great, but it doesn't. So I guess you can hang it on something, I guess. That's how it is. But at least you know it can be held like that. So this is what I'm going to use. Okay, so we're just going to use this little container. I'm going to try to measure it for you and show you how much milk comes out of it. So this is it. Oh, maybe I need a bigger, deeper one here. I think I do. Okay, so here. See how thick it is? Oh, see how thick it is? Beautiful. probably try to find the drawstring one okay so there we go just strain it like so there. at least I can hold it with one hand which I liked I tried to put it on the bowl on the mouth of the bowl but it didn't quite fit that way so there you go Let's see you know, what you want to do, I just give it a little bit of help. <laughs> and I just squeeze it all out. milk that we have and I'll show you in just a second uh, how much we've made and you can tell here look at all the stuff here I will take a, another shot of this for you look at this this is all stuff that came out and 
if you don't want to throw it away, they say you can use it in your baked goods. If something calls for almonds or almond flour or something, just put it in. You get all that goodness. So I think I will save it and I'm going to use it for another time. And so I'm going to measure to see how much milk we got out right now. So this is how much almond milk was made from one cup of almonds. Isn't it so cute? So you just want to put a lid on this, make sure it's sealed tight, and put it in the fridge for at least about uh, no more than five days. But I know in my house, uh, one of those big boxes, I believe they're 1.89 liters. Um, that's me anywhere from two to three days. Uh, but I would rather use this. This might last me maybe two days, but I know exactly what's in it. And I've made it from scratch. So this goes in the fridge. So enjoy. So this is the old box that I had uh, that I kept here for this video to show you almond milk. Now, if you look at all the ingredients, it does say the first thing it does say is almond base. Brackets, filtered water and almonds. That doesn't mean anything. You don't know how much is the almonds and how much is the water. And I actually read that um, when I researched this, um, it actually contains 2% almonds. 2% almonds. So there's a lot of the stuff that you're drinking here. And why don't you go take a look at all some of the ingredients and there's preservatives and things to make it uh, stay and last longer, right? But also, just want to say unsweetened. Um, I bought oat milk by accident the other day, uh, unsweetened, and I looked on there, there was nine grams of sugar. Ooh. So this one is uh, zero grams unsweetened. That's what I usually like. I try to take the sugar out of my diet, but really, really watch labels. But why? You can make your own. So almond butter, this is what we use in our house mostly. I know there's cashew butter, there's sunflower butter, there's so many butters out there. Um, I buy them two different ways uh, currently. I can go to the natural section of a store and you get a little bottle like this and it's like nine, ten dollars um, So it's super expensive. Uh, the other place I go to is Bulk Barn. Sometimes they have machines set up where you can grind your own butters and it just grinds right there in front of you. It's just almonds. It's nice and fresh. I know exactly what's in there. So they say. Anyway, but that's what I do. And it's it's still expensive, but so much better than the store-bought one. So why not make your own, okay? The hardest part of making almond butter, believe it or not, and it was hard for me, is the blender part. I almost killed my blender. Not killed it, but I, took, I paused it a few times. I do not have a Vitamix blender. I was actually thinking of getting one last week. It was on sale at Costco. Um, but I think I will. Uh, I missed the sale, so I'm going to have to hunt one down, especially now that I'm going to be using almond butter. <gasps> I'm going to get one. So um, that was the hardest part, was the blender. Oh, my God. So uh, don't think it's hard. Easy peasy. Go for it. So we're going to start on our almond butter now. And what you want to do with this, uh, I put one cup of almonds, um, in a, uh, a pan and we're going to toast them for about 10 minutes. So we're going to toast them for 10 minutes and um, I'll meet you back. Oh, I got two beeps going on. My tea is warming up and my almonds are just being roasted. Give me two seconds. Here's my tea. Let's go take a look at our almonds. pretty well ready so I'm gonna let these cool down just slightly right now they're very hot to the touch so you want to wait just until they're okay to touch but still warm so meet you back okay so they are warm to the touch and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my ninja again but don't worry I'm gonna get a Vitamix like I said so I'm gonna use this attachment instead because uh a little deeper, I guess. I don't know. You don't really need it deep here, right? So I put this on and I'm going to take my warm 
almonds and just put them in. Put them in the blender. Oops. Blooper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're going to put them in. There we go. You're not going to believe how easy this is. I told you the hardest part is the blender. That's Okay, so you got the almonds in, so now you want to put your cover on, and you're just going to blend. It's really that easy. So, okay. So before it starts, I'm going to say, first of all, it's going to get kind of chunky, and then it's going to thicken up into a ball, and then you assess it, and it may need some oil in it just to kind of liquefy a little bit, so it kind of keeps blending. So we're going to let it blend, and I'll meet you back in a bit. Now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Now, because I don't want to kill the motor of my blenders, I'm just going to pause a little bit. And I'm going to try to show you. See, it's like crumbly. It's crumbly, crumbly right now. So I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes rest and scrape off as much as I can. And then start again. Now, I do want to say, because this is not a Vitamix, it does get stuck to the side, right? And it doesn't blend. So I find I have to take my rubber spatula and make sure I scrape it lots of times from the side. Okay, I know. It's not the easiest. It is easy, but it's not the simplest way. But that is okay. That is okay. Anybody knows of a Vitamix that's on sale? Let me know. And, uh, and then you just keep blending and just keep scraping and just keep doing it. So I'll let you let it go until it gets to the next phase. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see, but now it's starting to come together, but it's not quite a ball, okay? Uh, I think because of the blender, this is what happened last time, it won't get to that stage yet. So I'm going to add some oil in, okay? So uh, you can use uh, your oil of choice. Uh, avocado oil would be a great one, but I don't have. Uh, we use coconut oil a lot in my house. My husband gets it uh, from his work, so this is the pure stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put like a little, a little bit of oil in it. Start with little. If you need more, you can see, but just a little bit is doing. You don't even have to melt it because it's going to go hot with the... Um, the uh, you know, butter almonds. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that there and we're gonna try to blend it now and see if it makes any difference. Okay, it's coming together really nicely with just a little bit of that oil, just a tiny bit, and you can see it's getting thick. It's getting nice and thick. See that? I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. No more oil, and it should be done soon. Okay, let's take a look. It looks like it's all moving around all in one formation. So, oh, look at this. Look at that. Not sure if you can see. See how smooth it is? That's what you call almond butter. See how easy that was? It's just a blender, right? Didn't I tell you? So what I, like, I did last time, it says salt to taste. I did put a little bit of salt in it. To taste so I put like really a little bit like a more than a dash and it just gave it that extra little kazim and I really like the salt in there so do that blend it one more time and it's done and I'll show you the final product when I'm done so here's the final product oh my lord look at that isn't that so lovely yummy can't wait to try some so i hope you enjoyed that wasn't that easy except for this thing it was easy yeah it wasn't lying at all right yeah easy peasy i really hope that you give it a shot give it a whirl uh give it a little blend here and there and i want to hear all about it let me know how it goes it is super easy save your money you know exactly what's going in your products and try it and let me know how it goes I have a tip for you. Okay, they say uh, almonds are very healthy for you. If you eat six to eight almonds a day, that's all you need. All you need. Isn't that great? And you get all those benefits that I talked about. But 
If you join it with some dark chocolate, like really like over 70% cocoa in there, you take your almonds, six to eight of them, you take that one piece of chocolate, combine it together, you have like a really, really nice treat to eat every day. Isn't that cool? So go ahead, go ahead, eat some chocolate. Yay! So I hope you liked this video today and if you got any value of it at all, please give me a thumbs up and uh, comment. I'd love to read any comment that you have uh, as well as share. Share away with maybe a friend or a family member who can use these recipes and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, this will help me out. Uh, subscribe and uh, click on the reminder button so you know when I put a video out. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks again for the support. I love you guys. You know that. And um, stay beautiful. Stay healthy, stay positive, and enjoy.